so good morning friends we will see that the numerical on the mayor's formula and rower's formula though such numericals may not be asked in exam in the mcq type uh, but uh, let us see and then we will move further for our next uh, part of the, our study these two mayor's and the rower's formula are for finding the these are the empirical formulas again empirical formulas are not based on any theory theory or any base they are based on the experiences past experiences to ye aise do formule mayer's formula hai evaporation in millimeters per day es is saturation vapor pressure millimeters of the mercury or milli bar karke bhi bolte hai usko ea actual vapor pressure again uh, millimeters of mercury v9 is monthly velocity uh, 9 meters above the ground kilometers per hour and km has got the 0.36 to 0.5 in the same way there is another formula called as the rowers formula wherein all that pa es ea has got the same uh, values or same meanings as in the mayer's formula Uh, the formula uh, you can see on your screen it is there in the notes also only here new value is v6 again mean wind velocity in kilometers at 0.6 meters above the ground and there is one formula to find out that uh, velocity at a height vh is equal to ch raised to 1 by 7 and there is one vh is 1 upon vh2 which is equal to h1 upon h2 raised to 0.148 that is another formula 0.143 if we know the velocity at some particular height we can find the velocity at another height by using this formula and this numerical i have asked all of you to solve but you needn't bother for that okay again uh, a reservoir with average surface spread of the water spread area is given then the temperature is given 30 degrees relative humidity is 40% wind velocity at 3 meter above the ground is 80 km per hour mean barometer reading is 760 mm of uh, mercury calculate the average evaporation loss from the reservoir evaporation loss in the first week of november etc use mayer's formula as well as rower's formula saturation pressure Uh, es is given as 31.81 mm of hg at 30 degrees again the formula we have that e is equal to km into es minus es where es minus ea plus 1 upon v9 upon 16 we have saturated uh, pressure vapor pressure 31.81 relative humidity is given as 40% so actual uh, vapor pressure will be saturated multiplied by that relative humidity <clears throat> again these points you should keep in your mind how to find out the actual vapor pressure by using the relative humidity okay so therefore the saturated 31.81 into 0.4 12.724 is the actual vapor pressure at that time prevailing antecedent jisko bolte hai v9 we have that formula vh upon uh, vh1 upon vh2 is equal to uh, h1 upon h2 raised to 1 by 7 or 0.143 using that formula we can find the velocity at 9 meters above the ground we have been given the velocity at 3 meters above the ground theek hai uske hisab se humne v9 is equal to v3 multiplied by 9 upon 3 raised to 1 by 7 uh which is come like which comes as 18 into 1.169 and 21.06 km per hour km values uh, for the large uh, spread and the deep water is 0.36 that has been given in the formula itself putting all these values we get the quantity of evaporation as 15.91 mm per day the total depth of evaporation in one week is 7 into 15.91 because it is mm per day 111.4 so total volume of the water evaporated 
is the water spread area into depth. Water spread area is given as 4.8 kilometer square. So 4.8 into 10 raised to 6 uh, meter square. The depth of evaporation is 111.4 millimeters. It is to be converted in meter. So they are therefore divided by 10 raised to minus 8. So the total volume of the water evaporated by multiplying all these things 0 0.5347 into 10 raised to 6 meter cube. इसको 10 raised to 4 से divide करते हैं तो हमें हेक्टर मीटर में ये value मिलती है using the mayor's formula again the same value okay just uh, recollect the value 53.47 by the mayor's formula now we will use the rohr's formula that formula already we have somewhere noted down in our notebook or the notes the saturated pressure is there actual pressure we have worked out earlier then we have been given that P alpha, that is the atmospheric pressure is 760 millimeters of the mercury. So the velocity as 0.6 is equal to, again that V1 upon V2 is equal to H1 upon H2 raised to 1 by 7 or raised to 0 0.143. Using that formula, we will find the velocity at 0 0.6 meters above the ground. And then the evaporation value per day, uh, putting all those values in that above formula, the value comes as 20.74 millimeters per day. So the total evaporation for one week is 20.74 into 7, 145.2. Again, this depth multiplied by the water spread area, again converting into the meter cube. It comes as the 69.7 hectare meter. Okay. <coughs> so the value by the Rohr's formula is a bit more than the Mayer's formula. That point is to be noted. Again, as you have ample of the time, solve this numerical on your own. Somewhere or other, it will be definitely helpful to you. Now the move to the next part of our today's discussion which is regarding the evapotranspiration. ठीक है जिसमें हम अभी evaporation तो हमने देखा अभी हम कहा जाते हैं transpiration की तरफ में. So transpiration as we have discussed earlier somewhere in the interception etc. या abstractions में हमने discuss किया है. It is the process by which water leaves the body of the living plant and reach the atmosphere as water vapor. Yane ye jo pani atmosphere me vapas jata hai, ye plant ke jo patte rehte hai, hai na? Wo patte ya leaves jisko bolte hai, leaf, L-E-A-F, leaf. Jhadanchi pane, jhadala phala astat, tase pana astat. तो झाड़ांचा पानान मधुन झाड़ों के पत्तों में से जो आ, वाटर एटमॉस्फेयर में जाता है उसे कहते हैं ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन। सो इट इज़ द प्रोसेस बाय विच वाटर लीव्स ये लीव्स यानी पत्ते वाला लीव नहीं लीव यानी ये छोड़ने वाला लीव्स। वाटर लीव्स और लेफ्ट वाटर इज़ लीविंग और वाटर लीव्स द water vapor again on this on your screen right side bottom you can see that uh, due to the solar rays the water which is absorbed through the plant roots it reaches to the plant leaf again we will see what for this water is being used it is used for the photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process wherein the chlorophyll in the plant leaves in presence of this water and the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere being converted to carbohydrates. And in this process, the, uh, the plant leaves which has got certain uh, pores or the, some very fraction uh, 
साइज्ड होल्स यू कैन से दे आर कॉल्ड एज द प्लांट स्टोमैटा तो उसमें से वो पानी इवेपोरेट होके बाहर जाता है उसको बोलते हैं ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन वाटर लॉस फ्रॉम द लीफ सरफेस बाय ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन वाटर इज टेकन अप बाय द प्लांट रूट सिस्टम एंड एस्केप्स थ्रू द लीव्स and again uh, this is a nice uh, uh, sketch you can see this is a plants so this uh, water absorbed by the roots water th travels through the plant it reaches to the plant leaves wherein the photosynthesis process takes place in which chlorophyll plus the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and water they react each uh, together and uh, formation of the carbohydrates oxygen and the water which enters the plant leaves through the roots wo pani bhi plant ke panne jo rehte hai uske jo usme jo chhed rehte hai usko stomata karke bolte hai they are the small openings on the underside of the leaves they are called as the stomata so three through this stomata this water which reaches to the plant leaves gets evaporated into the atmosphere due to the solar rays due to the sun's radiation okay so this quantity of water lost through transpiration is also to some extent quite uh, considerable so therefore we have been asked to study this <clears throat> because ultimately we are interested in what is what is the quantity of water that is re remaining or retaining on the surface of the earth in the form of the runoff so therefore what is lost is to be studied so factors affecting the transpiration are the atmospheric vapor pressure again atmospheric vapor pressure ya jisko humidity bhi bolenge aap baad mein temperature then a more temperature more will be the evapor transpiration or the transpiration wind velocity hawa jyada rahegi to vap vap jaldi hogi evaporation or transpiration will more light intensity atmosphere mein dhoop kitni hai characteristics of the plant shallow deep rooted species yani zameen ke andar wo jhad ke roots jo hai kitne andar gaye hai अवेलेबल वॉटर एट द रूट सिस्टम पानी के पानी की उपलब्धता वो जमीन में कितनी है प्लांट के रूट से जो जाता है एंड डेंसिटी ऑफ द वेजिटेटिव कवर ठीक है सो डिपेंड्स ऑन दिस द ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन टेक्स प्लेस नाउ देर आर वेरियस मेथड्स बट वी यूज ए सिम्यूलेटिंग टाइप मेथड और प्रैक्टिकल मेथड With the use of certain phytometers, ठीक है बहुत कोई difficult नहीं है phytometer नाम दिया है but it is just a simulation type uh, process adopted. But uh, listen uh, or uh, remember very carefully, the equipment used for measuring the transpiration is called as the phytometer. ठीक है we have seen for measuring the rainfall, it is the rain gauge for measuring the infiltration. it is the infiltrometer for measuring the evaporation the, the evaporimeter or evaporation pans and are now for measuring the transpiration the phytometer is there again next we'll be learning about the evapotranspiration so there will be there are which which is the another equipment for that or what are the measures for that that we'll also will see so this phytometer is the practical method for measuring the transpiration that is water lost through the plant leaves in this method or this phytometer it is a large vessel as you can see in the photograph a large vessel filled with soil in which one or more plants are rooted ek uh, bada bartan jaisa rehta hai container of a bit a large diameter 1 meter 2 meter or 3 meters of the diameter it is filled with soil isme ek do ek to hum ghas lagate hai baki koi plants lagate they are rooted there the soil surface is sealed 
टू प्रिवेंट इवेपोरेशन सॉइल का जो एक्सपोज सरफेस टू एटमोस्फियर इज सील्ड विद हेल्प ऑफ द ग्रास और विथ एनी अदर मटेरियल सो दैट देयर शुड नॉट बी एनी इवेपोरेशन लॉसेस थ्रू द सर्फेस ऑफ द सॉइल वॉट एवर लॉस दैट विल टेक प्लेस विल ओनली थ्रू द प्लांट लूज दैट इज द ट्रांसपीरेशन the only escape of moisture is by transpiration and this can be determined by weighing the plant and container at desired intervals yani ye jo pani kitna dala hai uske baad mein do din teen din char din ke baad mein yadi hum dekhte gaye every day how much water is lost again by weighing that phytometer you know jaise shuru mein phytometer is weighed without adding the water phytometer ka wajan kijiye bina pani dale hue baad mein phytometer mein pani daliye 1 kilo 2 kilo jo bhi hai aap abhi volume ko bhi kilo mein convert kar sakte <coughs> so measured weight of the water is added to this phytometer and now as the water cannot escape through the surface of this uh, phytometer due to the sealing by evaporation so the water will be used by the plant roots absorb it will reach to the plant leaves and again this transpiration will take place and some water is lost that water is lost from time to time or measured from time to time by again weighing the phytometer instrument so the transmission loss is equal to w1 plus w that is w1 is the initial weight of the uh, instrument phytometer plus w is the water added minus w2 is the weight of the instrument after one day two day three day okay so this will give us the transpiration loss due to evaporation this weight if divided by the volume it will be transpiration loss in depth in meters or millimeters so again schematically it is shown how the phytometer very simple uh, container filled with soil sealed at the top stop top and uh, some uh, plants are sowed s o w e d or rooted sowing or rooting hai na नए नए वर्ड्स जो है वो हमें एक्वेंट होना चाहिए ट्रांसपीरेशन रेशियो एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म है हमने समझ लेना चाहिए ट्रांसपीरेशन रेशियो इज द टोटल मास ऑफ द वाटर ट्रांसपायर्ड बाय द प्लांट ड्यूरिंग इट्स फुल ग्रोथ एक झाड़ सोइंग से लेके यानी उसका बीजारोपण से लेके तो उसका जब तक क्रॉपिंग है या उसका जो भी लाइफ है प्लांट का या उसका जो ग्रोथ है उसमें जितना पानी वो ट्रांसपायर करता है उसके लीव्स में से जो छोड़ देता है दैट टोटल मास ऑफ दैट वाटर डिवाइडेड बाय मास ऑफ द ड्राई मैटर प्रोड्यूस्ड वो प्लांट का पानी छोड़ के बाकी जो भी सूखा मटेरियल है सिर्फ उसके रूट का वजन नहीं लेते है उसमें ड्राई वेट ऑफ द प्लांट so weight of the water transpired divided by weight of the dry matter of the plant excluding uh, weight of the roots is called as the transmission ratio uh, transpiration ratio it varies with climate and the region <coughs> again uh, so with some photograph with certain uh, images how the equipment is being uh, shown that is being shown here and the process of the transpiration try to explain as well as the evaporation theek hai again uh, with the help of certain plants etc this transpiration is very important uh, for the calculation of the water for irrigation purpose agriculture purpose theek hai to isliye ye transpiration har ek plant ka alag alag rehta hai तो वो ट्रांसपीरेशन कैसा गिनते हैं वगैरह वगैरह हम आगे में देखते हैं अभी हम नेक्स्ट पार्ट में चलते हैं जिसको लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ अवर डिस्कशन दैट इज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ द इवेपोरेशन एंड ट्रांसपीरेशन वी हैव लर्न 
uh, very well about the evaporation, how it is, what are the causes, effects, and how to measure. Then we have seen transpiration, the process, mechanism, etc., etc., all these things, how it is measured. Now we will move on to the combination because a lot of the water, about 70-80% of the precipitation water is being lost through this evapotranspiration. And therefore it is very important. Kya hai? Uh, just abhi se ek concept uh, khyal mein rakhi. Jab hum as a irrigation engineer or water resources engineer supply the water for the agriculture purpose. Hai na? Si chai ke liye jo bolte hai. Tab kya hai ki jaise peene ka paani hum kitne log hai ekhade gao mein aur kitne saal hai us hisaap se we find out the drinking water. So for the plants also same logic is applied. But how to find the water required for the plants then, for the crops, then by the evapotranspiration. Because some water is lost by the evaporation, yadi surface irrigation karte hai to. Or some water is lost through transpiration. And this water lost through transpiration varies from plants to plants. So isliye, एकादे जगह पे है ना एकादे खेत में यदि इरिगेशन को पानी देना है तो हमें वहां पे इवैपोरेशन और ट्रांसपिरेशन दोनों का मिलके कितना लॉस होने वाला है उतना पानी वहां देना पड़ेगा है ना यदि उससे कम देते हैं तो द प्लांट्स कैन नॉट ग्रो एंड वी कैन नॉट गेट द गुड क्वांटिटी ऑफ द क्रॉप यील्ड Okay, so therefore it is very important and uh, whenever the quantity of the water to be stored in the dam as well as quantity of water to be supplied through the canals ye jab nikalte hai hai na agle sal aap irrigation mein padhenge tab is tab ye aapka understanding kaam mein aega so then to find out that quantity of water the knowledge of evapotranspiration is very important. Where you have to give water, where you have to give water, in the canal, in the pipe, or 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 in the pipe, that can be found out with this. So what is evapotranspiration then? Some of the amount of water transpired by the plants during the growth process, you can add here, through its leaves, and that amount and also that amount which is evaporated from the soil you know ek saath mein dono process hote hai in the atmosphere as the solar radiation is there as the heat is there therefore the water gets evaporated from the soil as well as through the plant leaves this total quantity is called as evapotranspiration and vegetation in the domain occupied by the growing crop. Okay. So evapotranspiration is again expressed in millimeters per hour. Now there is another word for the evapotranspiration. That is called as the consumptive use. Okay. Very important uh, <coughs> word you must know. It is same as the evapotranspiration okay but bit difference you must know or you should understand but the another word for the evapotranspiration is consumptive use i will tell you again and again because this word will be there for you in your next semester also in your uh, job also this may help so consumptive use is evapotranspiration from an area plus the water used directly in the metabolic process of the plant building tissue. What is consumptive use? It is evapotranspiration. That is water lost through the evaporation as well as by the transpiration. That is evaporation through plant leaves, through the stomata, as well as some water is used for the growth of the plant. Okay, plant ke tissue banane mein, hai na, humare jayse uh, cells rehte hai. 
अवर बॉडी सेल्स ह्यूमन बॉडी सेल्स ये भी ऐसे ही बनते हैं कार द ड्यू टू द इनहेलेशन एंड ऑक्सीजन यूज एंड सम कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एक्सेट्रा सो इन द सेम वे द प्लांट आल्सो यूजेस सम मेटाबॉलिज्म टेक्स प्लेस इन द प्लांट बॉडी एंड प्लांट ग्रोस छोटा सा प्लांट रहता है पहले बड़ा बड़ा होते होते एकदम इट मूव इन टू द आकाश में चले जाता है इतना बड़ा होता है तो वो प्लांट टिश्यू बढ़ते हैं तो वो बढ़ने के लिए भी उसको पानी की जरूरत पड़ती है सो कंजम टू यूज इज नथिंग बट द इवेपो ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन बट इन एडिशन टू इवेपो ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन वॉटर यूज डायरेक्टली इन मेटाबॉलिक प्रोसेस ऑफ द प्लांट बिल्डिंग और बिल्डिंग प्लांट टिश्यूज इज ऑल्सो एडेड टू इवेपो ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन so this total quantity of water is called as consumed to use but the amount of water used in actual metabolic process is insignificantly small it is very small compared to the evapotranspiration and therefore the term consumed to use is generally taken as equivalent to evapotranspiration plant ke khud ke growth ke liye जो भी पानी लगता है वो बहुत कम है एज कम्पेयर टू द ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन एज वेल एज इवेपोरेशन तो इसलिए कंजम टू यूज को इवेपो ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन करके बोलते हैं ये जो इवेपो ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन है इट इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स द फर्स्ट इज द पीईटी एंड द सेकंड इज द एईटी क्या है पीईटी एईटी हम देखते हैं पोटेंशियल इवेपो ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन एंड एक्चुअल इवेपो ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन मैंने आपको इसके पहले दो टर्म बोला था जो वेपर प्रेशर से रिलेटेड था एक था सैचुरेटेड सैचुरेशन वेपर प्रेशर ई एस ई सफिक्स एस ई एस करके बोला था सैचुरेशन वेपर प्रेशर और ई ए करके बोला था एक्चुअल वेपर प्रेशर है ना देर इज ए डिफरेंस वैसे ही ये दो टर्म है पोटेंशियल इवेपो ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन और एक्चुअल इवेपो ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन ठीक है पीईटी का लॉन्ग फॉर्म है ना ये बार बार मैं आपको बोलता हूँ आपका एम है तो आपको कुछ बार इसमें अलर्ट रहना चाहिए सो पीईटी मीन्स पोटेंशियल इवेपो ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन ए टी मीन्स एक्चुअल इवेपो ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन सो इफ सफिशियंट मॉइस्चर इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल और ऑलवेज अवेलेबल टू कंप्लीट Lee meet the needs of the plants. The resulting evapotranspiration is potential evapotranspiration. इसका मतलब है कि जब soil में पानी saturation capacity तक के है या ample quantity है ना बरसात आती है soil के पोर पानी से भरते हैं तो सॉइल के जो 100% परसेंट पोअर्स ऑफ द सॉइल वेन दे आर फिल्ड विद द वॉटर पार्टिकल देन द वॉटर द सॉइल इज हैज गॉट फुल क्वांटिटी ऑफ द वॉटर 100% परसेंट क्वांटिटी ऑफ द वॉटर फॉर द प्लांट ग्रोथ तो इस समय जो इवेपो ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन होता है उसे पोटेंशियल इवेपो ट्रांसफ्यूरेशन करके बोलते हैं अब क्या होता है नाउ द रेनफॉल स्टॉप से and now the, the slowly dheere dheere either now the rainfall has stopped so no additional water is being added to the soil so which ever water which is there into the soil due to saturation etc slowly this quantity of this water will reduce how due to the evaporation transpiration and plant growth okay and this reduction in water into the soil will be there but that water that reduced water is also available for the evaporation and transpiration so that reduced quantity of water or actual quantity of water is called as or prevailing है ना प्रीवेलिंग करके मैंने बोला था एंटीसीडेंट उस समय की 
which may be saturation which will be less than saturation or the potential evapotranspiration is called as actual evapotranspiration. The real evaporation, evapotranspiration occurring in a specific situation is called as actually evapotranspiration. You know, it may be potential evapotranspiration, but it will be always less than PET. Okay? So, seasonal consumptive use of the crop is the total quantity of water used by it in evaporation, evapotranspiration during the entire growing period. So, knowledge of PET and seasonal consumptive use is useful in designing the irrigation systems. I have told you about the irrigation system design. This is a very good thing. If you have a lot of things, you will be able to do it. Factors that affect the evapotranspiration. Again, the factors which affect the evaporation and transpiration will affect the evapotranspiration. They are the weather parameters, crop characteristics, management, and environment. We will do it in the fast. Weather parameter, they are the radiation from the sun, solar radiation energy, CDCD dhup ki intensity, air temperature, atmospheric temperature, air temperature, jada hai kam hai, jada hai to naturally evaporation and transpiration will be more, radiation jada hai to evaporation and transpiration more. Humidity, or which we call as the vapor pressure. More humidity, more vapor pressure, lesser evapotranspiration. Lesser humidity, more evapotranspiration. Wind speed, no wind speed, lesser evapotranspiration. More wind speed or more the wind, more will be the evapotranspiration. Crop characteristics. As the transpiration is one of the important thing where in evapotranspiration. So crop characteristics or the plant characteristics are very important. Crop type. And now, which type of crop is it? Is it a big tree or a big tree? As much as it is a big tree, the leaf will be a big tree. Leaf, leaf. More the size of the plant leaf, more will be the transpiration. Small the size of the plant leaves, smaller is the transpiration. Very important. Bigger the size of the plant leaves, more is the transpiration. Smaller the size of the plant leaves, lesser is the transpiration. है ना? तो इसलिए आप कभी भी देखिए, जहाँ बारिश बहुत ज़्यादा आती है, वहाँ पे झाड़ों के पत्ते काफी बड़े-बड़े रहते हैं। या मीडियम साइज़ की भी बारिश आती है, तो वहाँ पे भी झाड़ों के पत्ते काफी बड़े रहते हैं। लेकिन रेगिस्तान है, या जहाँ Precipitation is very less as compared to other area. You observe there, whatever plants are there, they have very, very small or the tiny leaves because they don't want to lose the water through the plant leaves. That is called as the adaptation of the plants. So, therefore, the variety of the crop, crop type, development stage, यानी शुरू का प्लका सोइंग पीरियड है, बीच में ग्रोइंग पीरियड है के और क्या है प्लांट की डेवलपमेंट स्टेज, क्रॉप हाइट, क्रॉप रफनेस, ग्राउंड कवर एंड डी क्रॉप रूटिंग डेप्थ, क्रॉप के रूट्स, प्लांट्स के रूट्स जमीन में कितने अंदर गए, थर्ड पार्ट डेट इस डी मैनेजमेंट एंड एनवायरनमेंटल फैक्टर्स, फैक्ट है ना जमीन में कभी-कभी खारे खारी जमीन रहती है खारे पान जमीन करके बोलते हैं सलाइनिटी तो उसमें नेचुरली वाटर विल बी एब्जर्ब एंड लेसर विल बी द वाटर अवेलेबल फॉर द प्लांट ग्रोथ पुअर लैंड फर्टिलिटी एक हदी जमीन की उपजाव शमता कम रहती है तो वहाँ पे भी इवेपोरेशन तो रहेगा लेकिन ट Limited application of the fertilizers. You know, बहुत बार हम बहुत ज़्यादा fertilizer देते थे, दे देते. Specifically non-organic, inorganic, या जिसको हम chemical fertilizers बोलते हैं, urea है वगैरह वगैरह जो है. So that also affects the transpiration because they are somewhere they are saline. 
fertilizers. Absence of the control of diseases on the plants, pest and poor soil management, है ना जहाँ वो खेती में कीड़े वगैरह रहते हैं, तो वो soil management and the pest, pest है ना all those कीड़ा कीटुक, may so all these factors may limit the crop development and reduce the soil evapotranspiration. है ना crop development ही कम होगी तो ये evapotranspiration Evaporation to hoga, lekin transpiration kam hoga. Now the determination of the evapotranspiration. It is not easy to measure the evapotranspiration. Because uh, there is no equipment as such at now. So therefore some simulation is done. Practical jo hum karke dekhte hai waise. So it is not easy to measure. Specific devices and accurate measurements of various physical parameters or soil water balance in the lysimeters are required to determine ET, evapotranspiration. <coughs> so equipments named as lysimeter are used to find out the evapotranspiration. What are they? We will just see. The methods are expensive, costly, demanding and used for the research purposes. They remain important for evapo evaluating evapotranspiration estimates. Obtained by more indirect methods. When I indirect method, which is empirical formula, penman method, so the evaporation is measured by four methods water budget method, field experimental plots, soil moisture depletion study, and lysimeter method. Again, as we have seen earlier, the evaporation calculation water budget method. Inflow outflow method, inflow kitna hai, outflow kitna hai, Ate uske, uske upar se how much water is stored or how much water is lost that can be found out is suitable for evaluating or finding the evapotranspiration of large watersheds over relatively long periods of time, provided all other constituent items of the following water balance equations are known. Water budget method very simple. Water supply is equal to water disposal. Water disposal, water supply is equal to surface inflow plus sub surface inflow plus precipitation. Or kahi hum bahar se bhi pani laate hai imported water. That is the water supply. And the water disposed in that area where water is supplied is equal to surface outflow. That is runoff plus some water is lost through subsurface outflow that is the infiltration some water is lost through evapotranspiration domestic and municipal industrial use kuch pani hamara kahi dusri jagah use karte hai uske liye exported water kahi bahar se bhi pani laate hai to uska bhi increase in the surface storage ye negative rahega baki positive hai to or increase in the groundwater storage. So this is all the water disposal. So it is a simple uh, method, water budget method, only for academic interest. But we must know. Field experimental method, which we simulation karke bolte hai, practically karke dekhna. Our IC meter method is the Some fields are selected. Kuch hum plot select karte hai. कुछ समझो 1000 स्क्वायर मीटर का या ऐसा एक स्पेसिफिक द क्वांटिटी ऑफ वाटर इज अप्लाइड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द स्प्रिंकलर्स एटसेट्रा है ना हमने पहले देखा था सिमुलेशन अ वे दैट इज सफिशिएंट फॉर सेटिस्फैक्टरी ग्रोथ ऑफ द क्रॉप्स देयर शुड बी नो परकलेशन और डीप रन ऑफ इफ देयर इज एनी रन ऑफ इट शुड बी मेजर्ड एंड डिडक्टेड फ्रॉम द टोटल क्वांटिटी ऑफ वाटर अप्लाइड Soil moisture study, another method, means the moisture content of the soil is studied from time to time. Some again specific plots are selected of the land. And there is a lot of water in the And for the water that has after supply of the water to that land, sufficient quantity of water, so that it will be saturated. <coughs> 
potential evapotranspiration and the moisture content of that saturated soil is found out you all are aware about how to find out the moisture content weight of the wet wet soil minus weight of the dry soil divided by weight of the dry soil multiplied by 100 is called as the moisture content you all have learned this in your geotechnical engineering so the moisture content of the soil from it is weighted w e double t e d to the plant फिर उसके बाद में plant sowing or the plants are rooted there and then uh, for some say 10 days 15 days one month two month three month till the plant is uh, uh, the sowing to harvesting jisko bolte hai plant mein se jo bhi or till the plant dies so from time to time the moisture contents are found out again by the method i have told you and then from that we can find out that how much water is lost by evaporation and transpiration through the soil so this is simple a soil moisture content uh, moisture study this can be determined in laboratory and in terms of the depth it can be converted so dr is the depth of water removed in meters <coughs> through the soil p is the per percentage of the water content w is specific gravity of soil and d is the depth of soil in meters simple dr depth of water removed by evapotranspiration is equal to pwd upon 100 P is percentage of water content, W is specific gravity of soil, and D is the depth of soil in meters. So the total quantity of water removed in 30 days period is calculated. Then the curve of the water consumption versus time is prepared. And from this uh, curve, the water consumption for any period can be computed in future. Third and the final method, which is the lysimeter. Again, a type of the simulation or artificial creation of the plot a water tight tank what is lysimeter ye yahan pe aapke screen ke upar mein right side mein uska schematic uh, diagram dikh rahi hai aur left side mein practically how that uh, lysimeter is prepared that is being shown aage mein bhi hai a water tight tank of cylindrical shape having a diameter about 2 meters to 5 meters and depth about 3 meter is placed vertically in the ground. So, this is a tank and this is a cylindrical shape. Mein soil fill. Karte. The tank is filled with the sample soil. Bottom of the tank consists of the sand layer and a pan for collecting surplus water. And this is niche mein jaise dikh hai. graded fill, gravel. And this is the same thing. We will supply the water. वो पानी प्लांट के लिए भी यूज होगा और कुछ पानी परकोलेट होके नीचे भी जाएगा और यहां पे हमने सैंड और ऐसा परकोलेशन मटेरियल दिया है फिल्टर मटेरियल तो इसमें से पानी निकलेगा और कहीं तो भी बाहर हम कलेक्ट करेंगे ज्यादा का पानी और वो जो पानी परकोलेट होके निकला है दैट कैन बी फाउंड आउट इट्स मास और कैन बी फाउंड आउट सो मास डेंसिटी इज इक्वल टू मास पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम so by this way we can find out the volume also by knowing the density of the water that is known to us so that is the water loss through the bottom part due to percolation so bottom of the tank consists of the sand layer and a pan or a container for collecting this percolated water ye photograph mein aapko upar mein dikh rahe different uh, lysimeters <coughs> name is quite uh, interesting so in this way again a schematic diagram is shown lysimeter in which grass is uh, planted soil is there at the bottom percolation from one side water is added measured quantity rainfall may be there addition of water some water is lost through evaporation some water is lost through the uh, transpiration again the water budget method is used <coughs> water added precipitation plus loss 
either by evaporation transpiration and percolation both all these are equated and we will find out the evapotranspiration so consumptive use of water is measured by amount of the water required for satisfactory growth of the plants within the tank so cu consumptive use or evapotranspiration is wa minus wd wa is water added and wd is water drained off hai na jo pani niche se drain hoke jata hai percolate hoke jata hai that is wd so in between is the consumptive use or evaporation and transpiration so this is the lysimeter a simple various types of the plants are shown in the lysimeter to find out their evapotranspiration and the transpiration hai na jawar ke liye alag hoga tumhare gehu ke liye alag hoga cotton ke liye alag hoga for the various plants so uh, because by the agriculture or for irrigation we are sowing or we are uh, cultivating various types of the crops so we must know the evapotranspiration of the uh, different types of the crops so again the schematic layout and the images of this then last method that is estimation of evapotranspiration from climate data but with the help of some new empirical formulas i will again repeat that estimation of evapotranspiration from climatological data climate ka jo data hai temperature moisture pressure atmospheric pressure wind velocity etc etc so the difficult because it is very difficult to measure it practically hai na ye lysimeter or simulation karna the difficulties in measurement of the evaporation and the transpiration in the field resulted to the development of certain empirical equations or the formulas there are numerous are there but we will learn that pan you have uh, that uh, one formula developed by uh, one expert who's uh, which is used in by the world so the development of which relate the evapor transpiration with some readily available climatological data like temperature humidity wind speed day length and sunshine hours these are the formulas blaney creedle thorn white christiansen christiansen penman modified penman or penman equation we are studying and evaporation is also transpiration is estimated using certain integration method and ground water uh, fluctuations <coughs> numerous formulas are there we will move on to the modified penman method reference crop wherein a very simple method is adopted with the help of all these lysimeter and for the by the practical uh, simulation artificially the plots are prepared and the evapotranspiration eto karke bolte hai usko ya et0 boliye for the particular grass is found out hai na jaise for the particular grass this evapotranspiration is found out one constant is there uh, for the various plants again this is based on the trial and mirror error uh, with some atmospheric parameters and the practical uh, workout the formula is derived that evapotranspiration for a particular crop is equal to some constant which is related to that crop wo crop se wo constant hai har crop ke liye alag alag hai aur evapotranspiration of a standard grass तो ऐसा हम ये इवेपो ट्रांसपिरेशन निकालते हैं ये फार्मूला पेनमैन करके एक साइंटिस्ट ने उसने बनाया है और ये फार्मूला जो हमारे वर्ल्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एफ करके बोलते हैं है ना फिर से लॉन्ग फॉर्म ध्यान में रखिए एफ ए फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बस एक मिनट में खत्म करते हैं इट इज एन एजेंसी ऑफ द यूनाइटेड स्टेट यूनाइटेड नेशन सॉरी and this fao has recommended this modified penman formula 
So you have reference crop evapotranspiration. That is ETO, reference crop, any grass is taken. Where well, just a hypothetical grass reference crop with an assumed crop height 0.12 meters, etc. Defined fixed surface resistance and uh, albedo. Yes, uh, albedo, surface resistance. These are all the climatological parameters. You know, meaning whiteness, etc. Uh, but uh, radiation, temperature, wind velocity. Uh, at this juncture, we need not worry for that. And a formula, as I have told you just now, ET, that is evapotranspiration of a particular crop. Maybe a maize, ya gahu bolte hain, ya ch maka, chana, gahu, chawal, or all. We can find out the evapotranspiration, which is equal to K into ET0. ET0 or ETO is that reference evapotranspiration of that particular grass. This value is fixed. Hai. And K is the constant for the various crops. The value of which changes with the stage of the crop. And this value is from 0.5 to 1.3. So this is the modified Penman method. Very simple. There are numerous uh, numericals. We will uh, go uh, do some in our next lecture. So here we will be finishing our unit number 